women fall into their feminine energy mm -hmm. when they're with a masculine guy. Yes. Yeah. But most guys aren't masculine, so they can't fall into it. Most and the reason why you fall into it, because like if he's truly masculine, a true provider and all this stuff, you don't have to worry about bills. You don't have to worry about all this other stuff. When you get to not worry about those things, you get to literally focus on everything that makes you a woman. Literally. Everything that like makes you like loving and caring and nurturing. Like, and I feel like I kind of do that unintentionally. Like when a guy is not, you know, not so much providing because, you know, I'm just dating or whatever. But I mean, if you're not like alpha male or anything, I find myself becoming more masculine to kind of like compensate, compensate uh -huh. because you're not. You're not who you should be. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. And that's what makes it really hard. That's why a lot of women end up sleeping with the same guys because there's such few guys that are masculine, whether it's the looks or they have money or whatever it is. There's so few guys that are actually it. Like we look at the statistics, 33% of men in between 18 and 30 are not having sex right now. Like one third of guys. And so like it, when you look at everything, it's like all, when you look at Tinder studies, uh, women swipe right on nine, uh, on the top 5% of men. So it's like when you look at all this stuff, a lot of women are all just going up to these top guys because no guys are masculine today. And who would we blame for that? You know, society has really pushed men into being little b and feminine as b We got our moms, feminism and all this stuff telling us, yeah, cry. <laughs> yeah, do all this stuff. And the next thing you know, we have no men that are real men anymore. And that's what happens when you do that 40 or 50 years. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. For Sierra's point, she said that women are kind of, I know you're team girl and everything, but would you say that with the current data market, there's a very strong, more of a hookup culture that we have versus a relationship culture? It most definitely is. Um, mm -hmm. I've had guys kind of like, I mean, guys are kind of crazy. Like in the DMs and everything, they'll text you like, uh, where are you at? What are you on? eyes and i'm I, they'll send like the eyes emoji and i'll be like what are you looking at <laughs> like i don't know i don't Look know what i'm, I'm looking at you for that i don't know what i'm supposed to, what that's supposed to give me or what it's most <laughs> definitely i mean some guys are kind of like becoming more aware of it and like adapt i mean if you want a girl who's gonna like be with you and you know they're just fishing for when they do that yeah, you gotta exactly. understand like sure. like, like, uh, like guys are really so like a guy who who low like doesn't try that hard usually it's it's because they don't have to try that hard right. like if, if you're a guy who got the riz or whatever man you barely gotta try some of these girls are gonna you for doing nothing right i you feel know? like it's some girls that kind of need to step their game up because they come to a girl like me and <laughs> except expect the same reaction to well their well you gotta understand like pussy's devalued now and like what sucks is the girls who hold it and don't give it out easily Y'all, y'all lose to the girls that give it out easily, and they devalue it to make it to where, like, you can't even capture some of these guys because they're they they devalued it so much, or they made it to where they can go to them so much easier, you know. So it like he's like, why would I try for two or three weeks, you know? Whenever I got this other girl who's really down for me, and she'll give it to me right now, like they like, and it's not even like I said, it's not even y'all's fault. It's the girl's fault too. Did it too much, or like gave it out. Um, but I do got I got to go back to something that like you you kind of brought up. You, you said that like you would uh, make like back in the day, like guys didn't really have to do anything because you were learning. You were young, mm -hmm. you hadn't experienced enough. Right. Um, but now you're going to try to make them wait. Um, do you like like how long do you want to make a guy wait now? Is there like a time like like do you like to say three days a week, two weeks, a before, month? Like is there like a certain thing? You said how long? How did long did you say? No, before what? Before, Baby, before you let him have sex now, like when you first meet a guy, like you meet a guy, like how do you how long do you want to talk to him? How many dates do you want to go on until y'all would let him hit now? No, um, maybe like two months. Maybe like two months. Yeah. Mm. What about you? See, I feel like it depends on the guy. I mean, it does. Some yeah. guys, I mean, it'll be like yeah, if you got you the know, riz, two weeks, one week. I mean, but if you're a really good guy, I mean, if you're it's a possibility then, yeah. that it could be like mm. you know, Actually, no. yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the big thing that I like to say though is it's really unfair. Like, or don't tell them this, basically. Like, if a guy knows that, like, guys in your past didn't have to do anything or they got it with them on a, on a, a like, for a one night or something like that, they're going to be like, well, why the f do I have to work a week or two for this, you know? So, that, but, so, as long as you just never admit that, they would never know yeah, that, you know? I'm not saying but, they didn't have to. But, but sometimes it's unfair in that aspect. Yeah, I'm not saying you don't have to do anything. I mean, if we've been, you know, conversating for a while, I mean, and we go on a date or something and mm -hmm. it ends up happening, if, 
something yeah. happens just ends up happening, then that's just what it is. It's not like I planned for, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go and book him like yeah. right now. But... I definitely think that you should wait as long as you can. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how long that is because it's mm-hmm. different for everybody. But you should wait as long as you can until your pussy's tingling so hard you can't stop yourself. 